vegetarians, mm-hmm. uh, for humans, uh, all across the board. Uh, we want to make sure that we celebrate him on, on Monday in the right way. So please enjoy your family, enjoy those social organizations that are going to be out and about representing well in the community. We want to make sure that we uh, represent well uh, for the King family and, and everything mm-hmm. that he's standing up for and everything that he stands up for. Yes. Um, Feel free, uh, on all of you that are watching us currently right now, um, on what's going on DFW from our Facebook page, feel free to visit our website at www.whatsgoingondfw.com. Um, we have all of our information there, how you can learn more about Mahogany, learn more about myself, Hosea Robinson, and find out ways on how you can be a guest on our show on Thursdays, every mm-hmm. every Thursday, which is at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, right here on the AfterPartyRadio.com. Again, wanted to pass on some information to you on the event that's coming up on February the 7th, 2019, the After Party Live event. Um, it's a, com- a comedic comedic dialogue on love, mm-hmm. the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be hosted at the Brick House Lounge at 2525 East Arkansas Lane, Arlington, Texas, 76010. Our pre-sale tickets are available, uh, and for more information, you can give us a call at 214-295-4655. All right, Mahogany, how has your week been so far? My week has been super, super Busy, but it's also been amazing. Um, I actually had some great news come through today. Yeah, I saw some. I saw, I saw a little something, something. I had some great news come through today, y'all. I've been really working hard. I've been grinding hard. Uh, yeah. It's a lot uh, that I don't talk about, even though I do say that I'm doing a lot. I really am doing a lot right now, and I'm just so excited that everything is starting to manifest, like we talked about last week. Yes. Everything is starting to manifest, and I'm just so excited uh, about what's about to come, and I'm, and we're just in January. Mm-hmm. We're just in January and so many opportunities and so many things have been coming my way. So I know by December I'm going to be exactly where I want to be. So, yeah, um, That's good. I'm really excited about this year. 2019 is my year for real, for real. That's good. And, you know, one of the keys of when, when your things are, are and those goals are starting to they're starting to hit and mm-hmm. starting to manifest, you, some, some things are not made, uh, meant to go in, but it, uh, are not to be made in public. And so you have to move in silence, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, until the right time. Mm-hmm. You'll, 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 you'll let everybody know what those plans are. So, man, congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank and you. Congratulations. Yeah, my week has been very busy. Got some things, some personal goals that I'm starting to hit. So mm-hmm. um, it's been uh, very interesting. I, one thing I will say, um, I know me and you had talked about um, outside, you know, of the show, and I was letting you know about how I had a um, – uh, a pastor reached out to mm-hmm. me about about the credit restoration piece, and he reached out to me again, and he was like, "Hosea, yeah, we we need to talk, you know, uh, not only for my own congregation, but for also for for myself." Mm-hmm. And um, and I think that it was so profound me and him having this conversation um, this week because it's so many people that are in. Um, very influential positions such as the pastoral role or uh, or just very active in the community um, not knowing that you know they need our assistance too yeah uh, they can have comes, a big a huge impact major impact yeah. because now you're a product of the product mm-hmm. so it doesn't make sense for me to you know uh, just using a, a pastor for an example it doesn't make sense for us to be you know to be the enlight uh, to, to give encouragement and give enlightenment mm-hmm. you know to the parishioners whether that be Christian faith, Catholic, you know, Muslim, you know what I mean, the synagogue. Um, but then, uh, from a financial standpoint, my uh, my stuff is upside down, mm-hmm. and so uh, it, it just was just very profound that he um, he called upon me, you know, for assistance. So I have a meeting set up with him on next week to talk Good. about some couple of things. So yeah, so it's yeah, we got some things coming yeah, down. I'll the help pipe. the people and get the coins <laughs> while you at it. <laughs> All right. Help the people and get the coins while you're yeah, at it. Right. That's the motto That's for 2019. Yeah, help, help the, the people, people and get the and coins get, while you're at it. And get the coins. <laughs> get the coins. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, awesome. so we're going to go into our topic for um, this week, which is balance, balancing balance. your life and everything in it, basically. So um, when it comes, when it comes to balance, mm-hmm. we're going to go to, we're going to go to the definition of balance. So the definition of balance is a condition in which different elements are equal or in the correct proportions. Mm. Mm. That's deep. So what do you think about balance when it comes to that definition? I think when you, 
when I apply it to my own life, it's a, it's it's taking everything that's important to me mm -hmm. and being able to divvy it up in the right portion so that each area gets the time that it needs mm -hmm. without me giving too much in one space mm -hmm. and shortchanging the other space. Okay, so, so equal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yes. And then when you, when, when you understand balance, you'll find out too whether or not do I have too much on my plate do I have, mm -hmm. uh, do I need to cut something off? Do I need to add more in one area to help to, to make it even out along with my other areas? Right. So, yeah, that's what I, that's my, that's what I look at when, when it comes to balance. That's what I look at it as like that. Okay. So, so yeah. So uh, the reason we wanted to talk about balance is because now, now that we're in the middle of January, it's about time to get balance in your life, you know, get balance in your life um, in order to have a successful rest of the year because if you're off balance in the beginning of the year you might as well be off balance for the rest of the year but it's going to set you up real nice if you got some type of balance and some type of um structure mm -hmm. so that you can continue to hit your goals so you can continue to manifest everything that you're you know trying to manifest this year um i know when i was looking up um i was doing some research on balance and um what a lot of the 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 big name people do, what a lot of the celebrities do, what a lot of the rich people do in order to have balance in their lives. So uh, one thing that I did find mm -hmm. was that it's on the businessinsider.com, and it says Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and Oprah all use what's called the five-hour rule. So basically they take five hours every out of their day every day to focus on whatever it is that they need to focus on, and then they use the rest of their hours, you know, at their leisure. But during these five hours, it's just extreme focus. And it just talks, and they just talk about, you know, how they ba how they balance their um, everyday lives, how they balance, you know, being busy. Because, of course, when you think of Oprah, you think of her being, you know, super busy, right? You don't think of her ever taking time out to themselves, but you're wrong. A lot of these, uh, a lot of these uh, rich, wealthy people actually master taking time out for themselves mm -hmm. and that's what a lot of us don't do we don't take time out for ourselves we don't take time out to educate ourselves we don't take time out to you know just be at peace with ourselves learn ourselves and just take a step back from everything so if they can do it of course we can do it right mm -hmm. so one thing that they all like to do is read they all read warren buffett spends up to five to six hours a day reading newspapers and 500 pages of corporate reports. Wow. And we see why he's a billionaire, right? Wow. Then Bill Gates, he reads 50 books a year. Mm. Yeah. So mm. that's at least one book, you know, a week because it's 52 weeks. So he probably mm. take like two weeks off. But he reads 50 books a year. Mark Zuckerberg, he reads at least one book every two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Cuban, he reads more than three hours every day. Mm -hmm. And, um... That's just the name, the ones that we know. Right. So, um, when it comes to balance, how many of y'all can actually say that y'all find the time to sit and read? That wow. y'all find the time to actually sit sit down and just reflect, which is the second thing that they do. They find time to reflect. So, within these five hours, they're reading and they're reflecting. So... A lot of us, like I said, we don't we just don't sit down and just reflect on what's next. We don't reflect on what what has happened to us, what's going on next, where we want to go and things like that. So so the first one is read, the second one is reflect. And this is how they balance. This is how they balance. The third is experiment. Now when it comes to experiment, they do different things, you know, like trial and error. Mm -hmm. And this is this is the crucial part of entrepreneurship because you have to fail. That's correct. And a lot of people are scared to fail. Don't be scared to fail. You're going to you're going to have to fail in order to succeed. So what they do during this time is figure out, you know, what ways that basically they can fail in order to get it right. And the fourth thing that they do is um they use learning as an exercise. So you know how you want to be healthy, then you have to start eating right, right? If you want to get muscles, you have to be in the gym constantly, right? Lifting weights, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's the only way to get those muscles, mm -hmm. right? Is That's if right. you're constantly working out, right? right. With, with weights. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no way that you can succeed if you're not continuously, uh, continue 
Continuing, yeah. Continuing to practice. Right. You know, how's LeBron James going to be good if he doesn't go to practice? Right. How is, you know, Usain Bolt going to continue to be fast if he's not practicing? It's the same thing that you have to do with your learning. Right. Um, and when it comes to balance, that that's what they do. They they take that time out to be able to uh, to be able to be sure that they reflect, that they read, that they use ex- they use learning as an exercise, and they experiment. Right. Um, and that and that's that's really important when it comes to mm-hmm. life. Period. Yeah, I th- you said something that was very key as about that whole learning piece. That I think that's one of one of the most underrated pieces in regards to the whole business ownership mm-hmm. and entrepreneurial role is that, you know, learning is basically. In, in layman's terms, taking risk. Right. You know, take take risk. And, and of course, a lot of us, we've been programmed to, you know, start out as a kid, become older, get a good jo- good paying job, being a, which is safe, you mm-hmm. know, at go, go, go get a home, white picket fence with the dog, end of story. Mm-hmm. Well, entrepreneurship and uh, be, being a business owner is all about taking the risk. Right. When you take the risk, Yes, you may you may win, you may fail, but the only way that you can learn is when you do fail. So that's why failing is so important because yeah. you never realize what could have been or what could be if you did not fail something. Mm-hmm. And failing, it may not be even just be super duper major. It may be just at minimum, just okay. I was set to wake up at eight o'clock, but I overslept and I woke up at nine o'clock. Mm-hmm. Figuring out how that hour gap just made that much of a difference in regards to you being productive that day, those next four hours, et cetera. So that's what I've learned in regards to, you know, everything that you just said was just so very key, Mahogany, uh, in regards to the you know, entrepreneurship because, I mean, you – that part in, in particular is learning is so very key. And reading the books. I read that the average millionaire reads 24, at, reads at, um, actually 24 books a year. Yeah, they read. read. The, 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 average, uh, average millionaire reads 24 books a year. So that means basically every two weeks yeah. you're reading a book. Yeah. You're reading a new book at minimum. So all of us that have this entrepreneur spirit, at minimum, we should be reading 24 books by the end of the year. I mean, that's just no, there's no if and or buts about it as it relates to self-development and that particular craft that you're saying that, hey, I need to do this and I can, and I can see myself doing this indefinitely. Like, this is my assignment. You need to invest in that. You need exactly. To in that. And how many, um, how many of um, our listeners right now actually take the time to read? Um, if you could just comment mm-hmm. in the comment box right yes, now, just please. let us know. You can just say yes or no if you actually read books throughout the year or if you find the time to read. Like how many, I, I, I really want to know how many of you all out there are taking the time out for self-reflection, reading, and just personal development, you yes. know, as a whole because that's very important. But the key to balance is, is your time. You have to have a schedule. Yes. You have to have a schedule. And that's and I stress that because I I was recently I was recently in a in a situation to where I was everywhere doing everything but I did not have balance. I had no type of balance whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to sit and write out, uh, write out a whole schedule for myself because, for one, I'm a single mom, so I have to, you know, tend to my um, to my son whenever I have to. Then I have to balance my life. I have to balance my personal life. I have to balance my entrepreneurial life. I have to balance this life. I have to balance my soul. It's just so much that I have to balance. And even even if you're not um, a parent and you um, and you're out here trying to do, you know be on your entrepreneur stuff, you're still going to have to find time and balance. Right. Exactly. You're going to have to find time and balance. So time is key. So what I stress to everyone is to make a schedule. First of all, after you write all your goals, then you're going to have to make a schedule, and you're going to have to stick to it. It's, it's one thing to write it, but it's another thing to stick to it, and it's right. so hard. It's just like budgeting for the first time, and you're so used to spending your money. You're going to have to stick to it and it's gonna it's gonna be hard because you're so used to running around like yeah. a chicken with your head <laughs> right, cut off right, but right. but it's gonna pay off in the end you're gonna be less stressed yes. you're gonna feel so yes. much better and it's gonna feel yes. good when you're checking stuff you know off your list like okay i yeah. did this i did that i did yeah. that like you just have to take that time out uh yeah. to do that and i appreciate thank you all so much for the comments that you all have yes, uh, thank you have, have submitted in and i appreciate the candidness too because one one of the comments is on on facebook live stated that yeah hey i'm doing 
doing, uh, I'm making that change right now. In Good. Regards, she's creating her collection right now. Um, Tanisha. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you thank just you started. So much. Good job, Tanisha. Yeah, appreciate that. And for those of you all who are just tuning in, Good job, Elizabeth. You're watching What's Going On DFW. Please uh, check out our website at www.whatsgoingondfw.com. Again, www.whatsgoingondfw.com. You can uh, follow us on Facebook um, and also on Instagram at that same uh, name, What's Going On DFW, all one word on Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about balance today. That's what we're talking about um, is balance. And we just went over the subject of with which Mahogany just very eloquently described in regards to some billionaires and millionaires that we are very familiar with on what they do um, as relates to their regimen on a five-hour uh, focus basis on a daily basis, mm -hmm. and uh, which was profound. And we just got finished talking about um, um, just focusing on reading and self-development and whatnot, and which is very so much key. But the key to that is, once again, time. They time. set the time out to do that. Yes. So even, even if the busiest person in the world can set out time, you can set out time, yes. too. Um, there's a saying that it takes 10,000 hours of you doing something in order to master it. Yeah. So think about that for a second. How are you going to master something in 10,000 hours if you feel like you don't have time to do it? Right. How do you find the time? You have to write. You have to sit there and write out a schedule for your day, mm -hmm. for the week. I, I know I do it for the week because I know I'm not going to have time. I'm not going to have time um. <laughs> to do it for that that day in particular. So on Sunday, right. I'll write out, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll write out my whole week and say I'm doing all of this on Monday, doing this on Tuesday, doing this on Wednesday. So by the time Sunday hits, I can be on to something new. Right. But you have to, it's all about time management. Like right. balance is basically time management. Right. And it's, you know, and it's. You know the good thing about when you have a schedule like that? Mm -hmm. When you have your schedule and your days matched out, ma mapped out, excuse me, on a regular basis and you become accustomed to that, that's part of your routine. When outside entities start to come in and try to uh, try to uh, request some of your time, if it does not fit your schedule, yes. if there's not a time slot that's allotted for that particular person, right. you can't do it because it does not meet your schedule. If you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, it's every day has to be about productivity. Yes. Bottom line is no, there's no wavering behind that. So if someone or something wants your time, it has to fit your schedule. And that's the beauty of having a schedule on a regular basis. So that goes for friends, family, business uh, uh, counterparts, mm -hmm. business colleagues. It has to meet your schedule. And don't be afraid to tell somebody no. There Don't be afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid to tell somebody no. I Don't be afraid that. to miss out that. on events. Now, I live by that. I, I just have All to right. say that because I used to be afraid to tell people no. Like, if they be like, oh, you coming out? And I, and I know good and well that I, I ain't got the time to be coming out to your thing because I got to get this done. <laughs> but I was just like, okay, I'm going to come anyway. And then I'm suffering later because now I go home. Yeah. And I'm thinking about, and I'm up late at night, I'm thinking like, dang, I could have got all of this done if I just missed out, you know? So, right. so in this, in this whole, um, on this whole entrepreneurship journey, I've yes. learned the power of no. Like now no. people already know they can't even call me. They can't call me, be like, Mahogany, you want to go? No, because guess what? They already know Mahogany, you know, doing something mm -hmm. else. But I mean, don't, that don't mean don't call me, y'all. Y'all can right. still invite me. It's okay. <laughs> Send her a text. Invite me. Send her a text. I might come. Right. But no, but text. seriously, don't be afraid to use the word no, y'all. <laughs> Throw words. Make sure, I mean, yeah. you don't want to be the yes man. I don't know if y'all seen that movie uh, with Jim Carrey when he said yeah. yes to every everything right. and he was miserable. Right. And once he started saying no, his whole life changed. So <laughs> right. you need to be like him. Right. Because um, when it comes to your time management, like he said, you can't just let anybody and everybody have your time because if you giving everybody else and everything your time where's the time for you right and then you have to look at that too like that's why you're not succeeding yes your time is everywhere yes. else but with you yes i like what miss knight said that's on one of our viewers that just no uh, it's a complete sentence. sentence bam period. period get it that's what i'm talking about you better hit it hit it period huh? it's a complete <laughs> sentence N-O is a complete sentence. And say no and mean it. Yes. Say no. What, what, what's that uh, saying? Say no without having to give an explanation. That, that's that's the one right there. That, that, say no without that, having to give an explanation. That should be on everybody's Facebook status right now. Yes. Say no without giving an explanation. Bottom line in the story.
with plan. Exactly, Savitri. Working a nine-hour job, waking up at six, not getting home to eight That's most it. nights, and still having to be a mother is tough, sis. Well, I know. Yes. And then yes, you have, and then yes. I know you have multiple children at that, right. and they're little, and they're little. So I already know your struggle. So it's, it's. I understand. I understand. Yeah, and that's why it's and that's why it's so very key to have a schedule because when you are uh, a person such like uh, like Miss Lawson, you know what I mean, that has that type of day. When you're an entrepreneur, on mm -hmm. top of having a nine to five, time is of the essence. Like time is your most precious commodity. You yes. really don't have time for uh, recess or or a or little it, of yourself. Period. Yeah, I mean, you literally have to schedule a time in where you need thirty minutes to yourself, where you can read thirty for read for thirty minutes. It may be just meditation. It may be just prayer. You know what I mean? You but you have to schedule some time because and you do need that because that is a form of self. Uh, recharging, self-healing, mm -hmm. self-focus. So that's very important because once you know, once that 30 minutes or that hour is gone, then you know what? You got to hit the streets running. It's exactly. all about taking care of the, the little ones in the house. You got to make sure you get out the house. You got to make sure you take care of everything that's um, at the job. Then when you come home, you got to take care of them, check homework, make sure all that's good. Then you got to spend two to three hours working on your 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 Your, your, your business. business, exactly. And even, and even those that, like I said, even those that aren't parents even though they are parents some of them are busy as well some people are busy taking care yeah. of their family yeah you know some some of them have to take care of their mothers you know because they're sick or or they have to step up and play the bro the brother slash mother role or the sister slash mother role because the mother isn't there or you know it's it's all types of situations right. to where you can or you know you're struggling right now with finances like the government is shut down right now. I mean, wow. I mean, come on, guys. Struggling wow. with finances right now. Minimum wage won't even help you get an apartment. Wow. You can't even, you know, without working all this overtime, slaving for overtime yeah. just to pay rent. And outside of rent, you still got food. You still got what clothes you got to yes. wear. You got to yes. pay to wash yeah. your clothes. Yeah. You got to make sure you got clothes because yeah. you might, you know, Get a little bigger, get a little smaller shoe. You ain't eating. You ain't got money to eat. So, you know, so it's, it, and it's, it's just all about balance. So just, how can you say that? But then again, when you think about it, how can you say manage your time to a person in that, in that type of situation <clears throat> where they're making only seven fifty eight eight dollars an hour, they're barely affording rent, and the only way to afford rent is they have to work 14-hour shifts a day? Mm. Where is that time? Because if you're mm. working 14 hours shifts and it's 24 hours in a day, that means you got 10 hours left. Then you still got to drive home. Then you got to figure out how you're going to do this and do that. And then you're tired. Right. And you got to get eight hours of sleep. So that means you really only have two hours to right. do anything and everything, right? Right. Yeah. I, I think, you know, that's a fair question. That's the hardest part. That And that's very, that's a very fair question. And that's a, unfortunately, that's a, that's a reality for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I know that a lot of people, because um, I was at an event actually um, this past weekend, um, and and the speaker that was there, he said one one of the things about him on his daily routine as he's going to work, one of the things that where where he has time for himself is actually on the drive on to the work. Drive. Exactly. So what he'll do, and along with another uh, uh, shout out to my uh, my homie uh, Miss Elizabeth that should be watching right now, she was she said the exact same thing that you know when they're driving on the way to work, what they'll do, they'll turn the radio off and that's their time to commune with themselves. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's their time to where them to for them to think and to focus and to focus on, you know, what what they have going on for that day and for that week. You know what I mean? Right. And, and for some people that's the only way that they can get their time. So if you do work long hours and long days and whatnot, there is ways to where you can find some type of gap in there to when you can have time for yourself. Sometimes I do that myself too. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Sometimes sometimes you're not missing nothing on the radio anyway. You know what I mean? You're exactly. not missing any on that's that's on Pandora, whatever you're playing through your phone, through the car anyway. Just I mean, sometimes it's just best just to be quiet and just and just and just meditate for a minute while you're driving. You know what I mean? And sometimes that that's what you need you know what i mean because the, the world was shut off but you will hear yourself so much stronger and better mm -hmm. when there's just peace and quiet i yes. promise i promise i promise just try it if you never tried it before try it and if you know someone that does that does do that on a regular basis you need to connect with them 
um, to get that information and find out how what's the best way uh, for them to for you to start that process. So we're com- we're we're three minutes away from our guest coming up on uh, right now. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, uh, this young lady that um, that's coming on currently right now, um, let me go ahead and introduce her, which her name is Miss Antonille Robinson. Yes, and she's gorgeous, y'all. <laughs> she's so little and gorgeous. <laughs> yes, Miss she a whole snack, <laughs> oh. and I mean that. Okay, <laughs> silly. She might be a dinner. <laughs> Well, Miss Robinson is a, a proud Prairie View a m University graduate. Um, she's currently um, in corporate America, but she is a entrepreneur mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. And there's a she has a very uh, you uh, common story um, that we're going to let you all in on um, that you will be able to hear from her. And she's going to talk about her business and ha- and how it relates to what we've been talking about today as it relates to balance and whatnot. So without further ado, mm-hmm. without further ado, mm-hmm. please help us welcome okay. Miss Antonille Robinson. Okay, Miss Robinson, come on. <laughs> Woo! Come on, you can come on. Yes. Ooh. Look at her. <laughs> Come on. No, she got to you There you go. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Mhm. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, DFW. Uh-oh. My name is Antonio Robinson. Uh-oh. I am the creative director of TNT Creative Images. Okay. Mirror Photo Booth. No, go ahead. Introduce yourself. Let them know who you are, sis. I am a proud graduate of Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School in Fort Worth, Texas. Mm -hmm. And I am a proud graduate of Prairie View A&M University. (laughs) (laughs) Panthers. Okay. I have two children. Nice. Um, my oldest will be 17 on next week, and my youngest is 11. Well, excuse me, she'll be 11 in April. She got a I know, I right? Got I said the same thing. Hey, black don't crack. For real, for real. Wow, 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 wow. Well, we're glad to have you. Sis. Thank you. Oh, and I'm uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I hope y'all can hear me now because um, I was just freestyling. Okay. Go blooper, go blooper. Yeah, we just had a live blooper, y'all. <laughs> this will probably be part of like end of the year blooper reel. Yes. So, um, so. Yes. Miss Snack. Miss Snack. <laughs> we got Snack. some. We have some questions for you. All right. So yeah, so in um in reference to balance and everything that we yeah. just spoke about, um, how do you maintain the balance in your life between working in corporate America, having your business, and being a single mother? Balance is very important. Mm-hmm. I have a calendar. Okay. And I have to write everything down on my calendar. If not on my calendar, it is on my phone. Mm-hmm. That's um, good. My son plays football and runs track, so okay. I have to keep up with his schedule. Okay. Mm-hmm. My daughter dances um, at church, okay. so I have to keep up with her schedule, as well as corporate America. I have to keep up with my schedule mm-hmm. and my clients for my business. Wow. wow. So sometimes I don't get that six to eight hours of sleep. Mm-hmm. It may only be just three or four. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. But, yes, balance is very important. You have to write it down. If you don't write it down, then you are you may forget. So the key to your balance is writing everything down. Yeah. I have to write it down. And sticking to it, And right? sticking to right. it. And, and when you first started doing that, was that hard for you? It was because I was just used to doing whatever I wanted to when uh-huh. I wanted to do it. Uh-huh. But, again, when you have children, their activities, yeah. your activities, you have to have a balanced schedule. Mm-hmm. And when it when it comes to that, um, how long did it take you to master it? Um, I would say between two to three months. 
mm. for me to actually master the, my writing down schedule and mm -hmm. getting everything balanced and in order. Mm -hmm. See, I told y'all it was not going to be easy. You're not just going right. to write it down and yeah. it just comes to you. Like It's going to take some time because it's going to be time times where you're like, Ugh, I can kind of put that off for tomorrow because your procrastination sets in because of what you're used to doing. And like she said, it took her about two, what, two, to, three two months. to three months right. just to do that. Okay, well, let me ask you one thing. And uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the things that I feel that is so very unique about your story, is, which is a common story, is that not only are – your um, your working mother, um, entrepreneur, but what's unique about your story is that you're a single mother, yes. and you're an entrepreneur. Yes, there are a lot of people that are watching us live yes. right yeah. now that that are just like you or that are in that same position as you that may have one kid, may have multiple kids, and they want to they want to get started. You know what I mean? Like they want to get, they, they, they know what they want to do. They, they, I mean, they, they feel it in their bones, but they're scared. Mm -hmm. Like Mahogany said to step out there and to really, you know, make that first move because I am a single mother. What helped you make that first step? Um, my children really? made me make that first step because I wanted to do something that if I was to pass on uh -huh. something was for them besides corporate America wow. to make that, as we say, the coin. Ah! <laughs> the coin. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Wow. And and so your your kids is your driving force. My kids and my mother and my grandmother are wow. my driving yeah, force. Mommy. Wow. Right. And I've had a chance to meet her uh, mother and her grandmother one time. They're very sweet people too. Very sweet people. That's good. Um, so. When it comes to being a entrepreneur, does it help by you having this strict schedule? Does that help you manage like people that are toxic that don't even need to be in your space? Yes, because I won't even even look at text messages. Um, some numbers yeah. I have blocked out. Oh wow! Or oh wow! Um, blocked. I don't, <laughs> I don't even um, conversate with them anymore. So Good. wow! Yes. Wow! So you believe in if they're not part if they're not part of your plan, your ultimate plan, disassociate. Disassociate. Wow. I have to go. I, I have somewhere to go. So I'm going nowhere but up. So Wow, I think y'all two know each other. I uh, know, I told <laughs> you we was at the Y'all yes. two know each other. Y'all two know each other. I, I said that when we were outside <laughs> and discussing it, I was like, man. She sound like me. <laughs> you an insurance too? What? You do that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just a mixture. Um, now, my other question to you, um, what would be, was this always a childhood dream of yours, the business that you do now? Actually, no. Mm. Um, for my business, I was on Facebook, and I saw it. So I wanted something different that, you can make money from, mm -hmm. and the mirror photo booth is very different. It's something that you would wouldn't even imagine. But can you describe to them what the mirror photo booth is? It's yeah. an actual full length mirror. You can, it's a touch screen. You touch it. You can play games on it. You can write on it. You get your pictures mm -hmm. um, instantly. Mm -hmm. You can take one, two, or three pictures. Right. Hey, it's awesome. Wow. And and, and you know one one thing I've seen her work her booth mm -hmm. at several events. I've never seen nothing like it before. Like she I've literally have never seen nothing like it. If it's out there and other people have it, she I think she's like the only person literally like right now in Fort Worth, at minimum Fort Worth. Right. That has this right now. And she's been working like crazy too. Like especially what like over the Christmas break. Oh yeah. Yeah, she had a oh man, like every weekend she was doing something. And then as you know the power in social media, she says she's seen it on Facebook. On Facebook. And it caught her attention. Caught her attention, yes. So, so her, what was the first step to get into that? Like get into something like that? Well, I reached out to the company mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I did some research in regards to what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Okay. And after that, you got to put the coins together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be able to purchase. Yes. And I purchased it, and here I am now. Wow. Nine months in. Nine months in. Nine months. So do you have a, uh, a like, an exit goal or exit strategy based on how you're working it right now on, like, future-wise? future, future -wise, Like, what what is the plan for TNT currently right now? The plan is to um, 
maybe even get another mirror or get um, other products from that company okay. to do more things. Mm. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And have other things up under the umbrella of TNT Creative Images. Okay. So where do you see it in five years? In five years, I see, well, both of my kids working. Mm. Only one works it now, so both okay. of them working um, okay. and understanding the business okay. and um, doing more corporate um, events. More corporate events, right. Okay. Mm. Awesome, awesome. What would you do within the corporate event? Oh, just have the photo booth at uh -huh. the corporate event? Uh-huh. For uh, mm. parties, um, any type of events that they're having. Right, yeah, because she just did... Um, mm, like that. She just okay. did the... Um, yeah, you know, corporate America, I right? yeah, uh, yeah. crazy, freaking stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> she, that she just said crazy, <laughs> freaky stuff. What are some of them? Like the like photo freaky. booth. Like the mirror photo booth, Well, you know, with some of those corporations, if we're going off what we see in the movies, they get drunk and stuff and yeah. just have a good time. Yeah, some so. of them do. They do wild yeah, out. Yeah, like, they, they do. They kind of scared to take their photo booth home. <laughs> Well, that's when you have stanchions and you can right. have them. Okay, right good, there. good, good. <laughs> I'm just it. joking, y'all. I'm just joking. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but but she has. I've noticed like with her, um, because I do follow her business, and she did some some very uh, nice events here recently. One of the ones she did my uh, fraternity's um, end of the year ball. What? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Kappa Alpha Psi. Um, Diamond Ball in Fort Worth. Um, we had a special guest there, Marvin Sab, and she was there, and she took a lot of great pictures, a lot of awesome pictures. So all of you all, trust me, yes. you need you can see her work. Go to her Facebook, a business Facebook page. Can you go ahead and let everybody know what that is? Mm -hmm. Yes, on Facebook you can find me at the at symbol T T Creative Images, and that's images with a Z I M A G E Z. On Instagram, it's T underscore T underscore creative underscore images, again with a Z. Mm -hmm. And my um, website is T N T images with a Z dot com. Nice, nice. Now, let me ask you one other question, um, real quick. And we're still talking about the subject of balance and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the key things in balance is, too, is making sure that financially everything is in order like it's supposed to. Correct. Um, how has it been, how, how, how important has it been for you as it relates to making sure, like, financially and credit is in, in place and in order for you, for your business? How important has that been for your business, for it to be able to sustain this long? Well, I make sure that the money that comes in from the business, I don't touch. I put it in a separate account. Okay. And then for my, um, I make sure that my children have, when when my son works, yes. I make sure that I give him his little coins right, from, right. from the event. And I have to make sure that, um, again, I don't touch the money that I make. Mm -hmm. Because right. if I do, then I'm left with nothing. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. So you, okay. So you're able to, based on you running your business, you're basically running it like how it's supposed to be run, where the profits that come in from your business go into a separate account. That doesn't affect your money that comes in from nine to five, you know what I mean, and whatnot. And you're able to see your profits. You're able to see uh, profits going in, expenses going out, et cetera, et cetera. Correct. And it seems like the key to all of that is discipline. Very much so. She has discipline. Discipline. I don't know how many of y'all are not disciplined with your finances, but if you want to succeed in life, in your business, and just in life general, you're right. gonna have to have discipline. Yes. And that's that, that's like that's the, the probably the most one of the most important things that you can have is discipline, because a lot of people would do her same situation totally backwards they will use the money that and then honestly when you're first starting a business you're not really looking to make a profit within that first year anyway so with you trying to spend the money that you first get is all gonna be downhill right right, right. right now have you ever had have you when you first started did you do that no or you were always disciplined with i was always disciplined see uh, oh wow oh wow so, that's good yeah that's so good. you pay so you don't touch the money you have a separate account and you pay your little employees. 
<laughs> she said, you're a little bloody. <laughs> <laughs> and they yes. loyal. Yes. <laughs> Just because you be mama loyal. or because you the boss? Both. <laughs> right. You have to be loyal. So if you're not loyal, then mm-hmm. the things that you want, right. I'm not going to be loyal to those. So does he work the entire events with you? Yes, he does. Okay. And some are six to eight hours. Ooh. So mm-hmm. he's That's okay good. with it. So and and in on the yeah. interim, even even though he's able to make a little extra money, he's he, he you're teaching him work ethic. Correct. You're teaching him work ethic, and you're actually planting seeds for him to maybe that when he gets older, past college or past secondary, you know, school, trade school, whatever he decides to do, uh, he'll have this idea in his head too, like, hey, entrepreneurship. If Mama did it, I can do it too. Right. That's good. That's good. Hence the reason why it's very good to make sure that you include your kids in regards to your entrepreneurial uh, goals and whatnot. Let them see Mm -hmm. how you're building. Let them see how you're structuring certain things. Let them be in on certain conversations. You know, you know, and you'll know what conversations that they need to be involved in, of course, but they need to see the next generation needs to see you building and see your tenacity and staying with it and not giving up. They really need to see that. Hence, that they need to see you be able to balance. And how do you feel about um, generational wealth? Yes. I think it's very important. Um, I come from a family. We we have a little. Mm-hmm. But um, as far as making sure that my kids are straight, mm-hmm. um, I think that's very important. Um, for, well, first you have to teach them the discipline. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. teach them how to manage. Right. And then they should be good. While they watch me, they mm-hmm. should be good. So I'm, I, I believe that I'm going in the right direction. Mm-hmm. You I are. think I am. No, yeah, you're good. You're doing good. So I think it's very important um, to have a little bit, and if not a lot, um, some wealth for them to feed back on mm-hmm. if something wants to happen. Okay. And do you see um, this ever becoming a multi-million dollar company? Yes, I can. Mm. Mm-hmm. What? I can. Hey. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. What? PV produce productive people. Yes. The PV produces productive people. Oh, my goodness. Brought okay. to you by what's going on, DFW.com. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so on, on the way to becoming Yo. a multi-million dollar company, how are you, um, you going to find your employees? Like, what, what's your strategy in that? Because I know I have a fear. Like, I want to own a multi-billion dollar company. Mm. But, mm. but, Church. but I do have, um, it is a little fear that I'm trying to get over when it comes to employing people and, you know, mm-hmm. trying to get people to do what I need them to do mm. without putting my hand in the pot. Because, you know, we can have that um, syndrome where your hand has to be in every pot. Right. right, right. So I look at companies like Walmart, you know, and they they hire employees all day, every day, and they have to trust those employees, even though you know they they be stealing and stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> like, and I'm just I'm just asking this, and I ask probably every business owner that I speak to that, right. how are you qualifying your employees? Like, what, like, how do you do that without having that type of fear that they're not going to do what they're supposed to do? Well, I feel that um, you have to. Build that trust. Mm-hmm. Um, if okay. you don't have trust, then mm. there's really nothing. That's good. Um, once a person shows me who they are, mm-hmm. yeah. then we'll go from there. Mm. Um, I'm not going to say everyone steals, but, you know, somebody may have pick up a yeah. little something, something yeah. every now and then. Yeah. But, again, you <laughs> have to you have to know who you're working with and yes. see if you can – Know, watch them, and then build that trust from there. Wow! wow. But people are so phony these days. They yes, they are. Are. Like they I'm are. not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's just like going to a job interview. You know you. <laughs> Y'all know how we how we you know fake it till we make it in job interview. So it's like I don't want nobody to fake it till they make it with my interview. Right. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. though I'm doing it to these companies, <laughs> 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 don't do it to me. <laughs> You know? Right, right, right. How do you get well, how, like, you gotta 
<laughs> learn yeah, how to trust people. You do, you do. You just got just if you, if you guys are just not turning in, we are listening to the what's going on, uh, watching the what's going on dfw mm-hmm. uh, dot com internet uh, radio bo- podcast. We have our special guest on uh, with us right now, Miss Antonio Robinson, Prairie View A and M grad, corporate mom, and also business owner um, and own and the creative director of TNT Creative Images. And we're talking about the subject of balance on today, um, uh, and. When it comes to balance, going back to that, um, is that something that you're passing down or like like your structured days? Have you indirectly been able to teach that to your kids, like like your son and your daughter? Are, are you kind of like directly or indirectly passing that down to them too? I do. I you do? Sh- at least I try to. Okay. Um, some, some days it's just... Yes. Kind of thrown out the window. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. But um, most of the time, yes. Okay. Um, I try to have them on the schedule as well. Mm-hmm. But, you know, this modern technology kind of takes the focus off of a lot of things. Yes. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes I have to tell you, put your phone up. Yeah. And do what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But um, I try to have a balanced um, household right. where we can get things done, and then go to your phone or your games. You're right. So, yeah, it, it's hard. I think all mothers uh, some in some way, shape, form, or fashion indirectly instill that type of balance because growing up, I've I, I always seen my mom, you know, get us, get us up from school, get us to, you know, get us ready for school, get us mm-hmm. to school. Okay, mama's going to be here at 3.30. We need to be right here. Okay. You know, when we get home, mama wants the house clean. Mama wants us at the table at 6. Right. Mama wants us in bed by 8. Mm-hmm. Don't be doing no laughing. Or mama going to come in there and, you know, you're going to get a whooping. You know, so I think it's, I think all mothers indirectly put a type of schedule on their kids. And I think the mothers like, you know, like us, that put their kids in sports, teaches them um, even, even um, more discipline and stuff because they know – that even after practice, they still got to come home and do homework before they do anything else. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, or mm-hmm. or even things like including church, you know, because nowadays, I mean, I don't know if you don't believe in God, then that's fine. You just erase all of this. But uh, even, even in church, like I was active in church. I was in Girl Scouts. I was in sports. I was doing all types of stuff. Right. So my mom already instilled in me some type of schedule because I know once I leave here, I'm going to have to go to choir practice. After I leave choir practice, I'm going to have to go home. Once I get home, I'm going to have to, you know, hurry up and do my homework, do this, do that before I even go to bed. Mm-hmm. So I, I just, just yeah. get back and out what you yeah, said. I right. think we all mothers, well, parent, well parents too, because we got some single fathers to right. um, instill that type of, uh, indir- indirectly instill that type of uh, schedule right. within their children, too. That's good. That's good. Um, I did have one other question for you. Um, you And you kind of alluded to this before in regards to um, your family support. Um, how has the support been with your family relating to your business venture? Mm, yeah. Oh, everybody is... On board. Well, look at um, you. Man. I have cousins that are willing to help. Wow. Uh, when my son is not able to help, I have friends. Uh, my mom, she'll get over there and work the booth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your mom? My mom. Wow. She, listen, mama. <laughs> mama, I need you to come help me. Her mama work the booth. I need help, too. Right. Cousins, too. <laughs> so that's, that's beautiful. My family is... They're uh, ready to work whenever mm. I need them. Yeah. Um, they're willing and able. That's good. That's good. That's yeah, because a lot good. of people don't get support from their families like that. Yeah. Everybody knows that you can barely get your family to share a post for you on Facebook, but she got her whole mama, kids, right. cousins, uncles, right. brothers, right. whoever out there willing to help her succeed because they want her, they want her to succeed. You know? Right, right. That is so beautiful. Right. Thank you. you lucky, girl. Yeah, yeah you are lucky. Because that reminds me of, like, I remember the following the story of Tyler Perry. He, I remember when he was when he was out, right when he was getting started in regards to um, one of his first plays. And um, some of you all know the story, so forgive me if I if I chopped this up a little bit. But I know there was at one particular point where he called home to his mom, and his mom 
um, he was venting to his mom, like, Mama, this ain't working out, blah, blah, blah. Man, you just need to pack up and just come home. You know what I mean? And he was like, nah, Mom, I got to stay. Mm-hmm. If he would have listened to his mom, we would have never ne- learned about a Tyler Perry. Mm-hmm. But he stayed while he was sleeping in his car. Mm-hmm. He stayed. And now here it is. This man owns his own studio that that, that is being rented out by other directors mm-hmm. to do movies. Mm-hmm. On top of him having his own place to do movies. Mm-hmm. And that goes back to you uh, believing in yourself even when nobody else believes it. Yeah. Even when nobody else sees your vision. God gave you that vision for a reason. Yeah. He made sure that you were the only one that could see it for a reason. Just like uh, if, we, if we just going to jump in the Bible real quick. Yeah, yeah, just like yeah. with Moses. He yeah. was only talking to Moses about what he wanted him to do for right. them in Egypt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was talking to Moses. God didn't go and talk to everybody, you yeah. know, at the same That's time. He specifically it. talked to Moses, and Moses was the only one that could see that vision and, and follow that vision through. Right. So that's the same thing with you. If you have something, you know, if you have a vision that only you can see, it's okay. Let you be the only one that can see it. Let you be the only one that can execute it. Mm-hmm. And just get around like-minded people and, um, you know, positivity. I mean, she's so blessed to just have, you know, all of that in one family. Yes. That, you know, a lot of y'all don't have that, but... For those that don't have it, continue to believe in yourself and right. once again get around positive, like minded people, other yes. entrepreneurs that are out here pushing and trying to grind. And, you know, go find people that are doing what you're doing. Like, has she seen has she seen it on Facebook? If you see somebody else doing something that you like on Facebook, reach out to them. Right. Hopefully they're nice people and they'll write you back. But it never yeah. hurt. I mean, it's not going to hurt you to inbox somebody. If they never write back, cool. If they write back, okay, you know, develop that type of friendship because that's what you have to do. Right. And and, and forthrightly, we, we, we are, consider us a connect. You send a, send a message to Mahogany. Send a message to me. I'm always willing to connect with people, like-minded people. You know, mm-hmm. what I mean, I, I, right now in this time and space where I'm at, that's that's my minimum requirement. I don't want to be around anybody that's not moving. If you're someone that that's not moving, if you're negative, if you want to whine and complain, if you don't want to invest, it, you don't see the importance in investing in yourself. I don't. I'm not the person that you need to be connected with. You really don't want to connect with her. I promise you, okay. you don't want to connect with her. <laughs> but I love her to death. This is my girl, though. This is my girl. This is my colleague. Love her to death. But I'm just being. We're we're, we're like-minded spirits. You know what I mean? So. It's all about forward progression right now. That's the whole purpose of this platform. That's the purpose of being connected to someone like Miss Robinson. Yes, you know what I mean? This whole snack yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> this whole You're right. chicken there, dinner. There you go. There you go. Yeah, Thanksgiving dinner. She she gets it. You know what I mean? Just like all of our other guests. They 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 get it. It's all about forward progression. Mm-hmm. We're trying to change the narrative in the Dallas Metroplex area, and we're so glad that all of you all are, are, are a part of it. We got about six minutes left. Yeah. Is there anything that you any anything else about your yes. business that you want to just let the people know so that they can start hitting you up and you hey, make do what I, you do? I'm able to do weddings, baby showers, quinceaneras, any type of event. Whether it's just sitting at home and want to have a party, hey, give me a call. 817-233-6028. Say that one more time. Again, that's 817-233-6028. Okay, say it one more time because somebody wasn't listening. Eight one seven two three three six zero two eight. Awesome. Perfect. Y'all gotta connect right now for your next major event. You know, all all of what she just said. You all have a connect right now. I've seen her work. You go to her page. Trust me, y'all. You will not be disappointed. It doesn't matter what it is. She is in the Metroplex. She is here. This is a minority-owned business owner. Yes. Support. 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 In fact, since it's Martin Luther King weekend, everybody need to go support a black-owned business this weekend indefinitely. Yes. Support a black-owned business this weekend. That's part of the dream, too, is us taking care of ourselves. Go and support a black-owned business this weekend. This weekend. It's time for us to start circling our dollars in our community. There's a, uh, a startling statistic that says that in the Jewish community, the dollar circles their, circles their community ten times before it leaves it. But in the black community, it only circles three times. We have to change that. Mm-hmm. We have to change that. Brianna said that, you're, um, that you are bomb, girl. Thank you, Brianna. Yes, she said you are the bomb. 
But make sure you all share this, share this live. Go ahead and share this video so that anybody, you know, that may be interested, that sees it, or right. they don't even know, you know, what she does, but they may, you know, view the live and say, oh, yeah, I need her in my baby shower. It's a lot of y'all pregnant on my TL, so it'll be nice to have the photo booth <laughs> at, at your baby shower. I'm telling y'all, it's a, it's a killer booth. It's a killer kill booth. booth. If, you go, booth. if you go to all of her um, social media and you see it and her website, I promise you, you will want her to be a part of your event. Yes. your next event yes. but make sure that you all go on our website um it's www.whatsgoingon.com mm -hmm. um if you want to be a guest or if you just want to you know advertise your own business make sure you go on the website and fill out the um form and the information so that we can get you on here because we need to spread you out all over the dfw yes. just like we're doing for miss snack right here <laughs> <laughs> and yes and also on our website we do have what's uh going to be our suggestion box so on any topics in anything that you want us to talk about or anything that you can think about please feel free to drop it in the suggestion box on our website www.whatsgoingon.com um, and we're gonna you know we're gonna look through them and hopefully we can get through all of them right. but yes we're gonna look through them and you know there might be even be a surprise for somebody that you know drops a bomb topic so you never know make sure you go to the website and do that for us yeah and also too on our Facebook page feel free to um, you know if you guys like what you are seeing and what we're providing to you all um, please feel free to give us a review on, on Facebook, you know what I mean? Uh, that, that helps us out a lot as well. Again, you all, we're just trying to do something very specific in the area that caters to the Metroplex area. Um, what do you have to say? What are your last words? Um, well, I would just say for whomever is trying to um, start their own business, yes. um, research, research, okay. research. Okay. And don't just take the step out there um, again for those that believe in God pray yes um, mm, seek God first that's in good. regards to what you're trying to do that's good and then the next step is go for it whether it's uh, whether you feel that it's going to be a bomb or whether you feel it's going to be a fail mm -hmm. go for it that's good go for it so do like Nike hey and just do just it. do it. just do it just do it <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, we thank you so much for being the guest on our show, Miss Snack. Thank you, Mahogany. Yeah, looking like a whole Thanksgiving dinner. God help me, Lord <laughs> With Jesus. With the stuffing in the turkey. Lord Jesus. Now, she's been, she's been a pleasure, y'all. Like, I'm about to... <laughs> I feel like, you know, like you feel yeah. like you met somebody before. Yeah. Are you looking at a version of you? Yeah. That's how I feel right now. That's good. That's good. That, that's um, how you're my little sister. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking I'm I'm looking forward to you being a multi million dollar company. Thank I really am. Yeah, for real. So yeah. I can say I spoke to her first. And then right. you can handle on my insurance. Oh, I can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> business, business insurance, y'all. If y'all know any businesses that need insurance, I'm your girl. I got you, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you all for tuning in to what's going on on this Thursday. And we will catch you next Thursday. Next Thursday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.